Hey everyone, and welcome back to Corpse Party. My name is Morganite, and I'm here with my friend Stalker, and we're continuing this wonderful, ghastly little adventure with terrible, terrible voice acting. Uh, we hope you enjoy. <laughs> it's only terrible because I've never voice acted, and I do not understand these characters at all. <laughs> uh, that's cool. I, I don't think many people do. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm 99, maybe 100% sure that they're not all Valley Girls, but they're all Valley Girls to me, even the boys. There we go. So. Okay, so, um... We left off with a ghost. Um, well... And then we came back in... Oh, the yeah, we, were, we wanted to look at the uh, board here. Yeah. So... What the heck is this? Was this here before? No, no, it wasn't. But no, how could you not notice that? Psycho, it totally wasn't here before. Oh, because there was a ghost. I don't know, but it's just a picture, right? How could you think it's just a picture? It's clearly... Uh, well, there's like a purple-haired girl with scissors attacking a bunch of other things. That's, that's not a snail? It could be a snail with scissors. I don't know. <laughs> no, the snail with the antenna. No, I totally see scissors. Uh, well, I mean, I... Yeah. See? Yeah, I, I, all right, I can see it, but I also... like. <laughs> that's a very phallic-shaped thing carrying scissors. So ah, that's all I'm okay. Um... The image on the board depicts a figure holding a pair of scissors. Ha! Yeah, but the figure is phallic. That's the... Uh, I'm sorry. Pursuing four uh -huh. smaller figures. Oh, great. Now we have to deal with something. Is there going to be a chase? Yeah. Oh, wait. This door. This door's here. Oh, wait. No, there's no door. There's no door there. Wasn't there a door behind That's... this earlier? That was the other room. That was. Oh, That's yeah, different. Perfect. Rows of dead bugs are neatly arranged on each shelf. That's, That's how I, I like to store my dead bugs. Neatly arranged. <laughs> on a shelf. Um, okay, so... Is this any different? Whoa, yeah, that's different. The notice has now changed you. I'm going to kill you. Of course it is. Because, you know, if you're going to try to encourage your students to do better, you do it through threats of violence. <laughs> Clearly. All right, here's another lettery thing. No running in the halls. Okay, thanks. <laughs> what if we're getting chased, though? I know. Door. Open it. Classroom 3A. The door is locked. Bullshit. I can't. Admit it, you hate all your friends. Wow, these notes are very passive-aggressive. I didn't realize this was such an angry game. <laughs> Eventually, Eventually you'll kill you'll one another? kill one another. So you don't, you, you're not even threatened from other people. You're threatened from your fly? friends. Do you I, yeah, I heard... I hear a fly. I do too. Can I... Oh, we're gonna need another board. We might have to go back for that board. Um, yeah, maybe it'll break, or um, maybe we'll find the, another one. What about the piss bucket, though? I'm sure that'll play a part later. You know, I mean, why else would we be able to interact with it? Um, we're gamers, we know. Well? I think we found where our insects were. Cool. I didn't want to like shatter people's eardrums in the bike there, so hopefully. Gasp! It's horrifying. Really? It's like somebody was thrown from the other end of the hall at superhuman speed. That's something very specific. <laughs> That's a what, very specific. What were they visualizing when they. <laughs> wow, okay. And just splattered. Everywhere. Ugh. It smells so... <laughs> Meaty. Meaty. <laughs> Meaty. Blah. <laughs> ah, there's that fly again. Okay, I really just like... Oh, get out yeah, of my that, oh, fly. That, that fly <laughs> sound seriously sounds like it's coming like right next to my ear. I don't like it. I don't it. like it at all. So, sorry. Are you okay, Naomi? I'm... I'm fine. <laughs> Let's just get away from here. <coughs> okay. All right, hang on. I'm, I'm going back through this because I want to make sure that this isn't... Is this, it is a door. Okay. Science lab, the door seems almost like a model as if sculpted onto the wall. There's no way of opening it. Well, that's a stupid door. That seems deceptive because it looks like it could be opened. I think it might later. Like, that's, that's my guess. 
Is yeah, that we're gonna we need that science right... lab to figure out how a splattered body got so meaty. <laughs> Best descriptions. Also, like, these look like rooms or cubbies of some sort, but... Alright, what door is this? Infirmary, the door is locked. Yeah, we'll... Either we'll get keys to this later, or that's where the other people are, and we'll have to find them somehow. Oh, oh board! Board. Yes. Wait, wait, wait for the creepy music. It is so dramatic whenever we pick up a board. I mean... I mean, yes, I know there's a way to go up, but I kind of want to keep going until it forces us to choose. Oh, no, I agree. Okay. Keep going down. Uh-oh. Maybe we should have gone up. What's this? There are several crumpled sheets of paper on the floor next to the body. They seem to have been dropped by the victim at the time of death. We four noble musketeers begin today. Let's meet behind the bank gate after school. Koito. Okay. I'm... I'm in classroom 5A. Everybody is fine. Yuzuha, come join us, Asuka. What? Oh. I don't... Uh, sorry. Sorry! Okay. Here's the body. The mostly bleached skeletal remains of a female student lie sprawled across the floor. Okay, wait a minute. How, How is it female? bleached? How is it mostly bleached? Because isn't that, like, usually a reference to it being in the sun for a long period of time? Yeah, but I mean, I guess you could... No, no, yeah. It would have to be because it have to be exposed to the sun to be able to be But bleached. we're in, like, an underground, some sort of, like... You're forgetting layers. There's uh, multiple worlds, so at least this world has sun at some point. So maybe they died in a desert and were transported here, I don't know. Loose bones and scraps of clothing are dangling from a hole in the ceiling above the body, suggesting she fell to her death from the second floor. Ah. Uh, ah, okay. But how do they know it's female? Dress? I guess. Upon closer inspection, there's a student ID tag attached to what's left of her uniform. Yeah, it's gotta be the, the skirt outfit. Yeah. Say Say Academy for Girls, Class 1 2, Yuzuha. Yuzuha Mikami. Oh, oh, we got a name tag. Okay. Nothing else but that. Okay, I came from that way. Yep. I. Uh, that was. That's not weird or creepy. Not at all. I told everyone that I'd go with them. So why have I been left behind? It hurts. It hurts so much. Okay, that was specific. It, okay, sorry. <laughs> That's my character. Yes, it is. <laughs> Looks like there have been a lot of different people brought here. Yeah, because they say Academy's a different school that wasn't built on top of this one. Yeah, I'm confused how this is all... They said layers. Maybe that's what they meant. Like, each school has its own haunting layer. Oh, maybe. I wonder how many. I wonder how many. Really? It'll work out for us, though. I'm sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> Seiko's losing it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but I, I would be, too. Right. I voice acted. Why did you wait so long? <laughs> <laughs> I had to make sure they understood that there was a silence. I think it's clear by my silence. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, just making sure. I feel like this music is almost too happy for what's happening. Yeah, it's a little, well, it's like a little too gung-ho. Yeah, it's a little... It's not, it's not tense enough. Oh, oh, oh. here's another one of these little... I'm not going to say the voice that way, because okay. th okay. these are way too cheery. If you wish to leave this place, you must take heed of the messages left behind by the many other victims who've died here. You have to use the other victims' messages to get out of here. Yeah. All they've said is, I'm so alone. All right? I'm, I'm alone. <laughs> I abandoned them. Ah, oh, sad, scared. Kill each other. <laughs> Many victims have left their thoughts or even their dying messages on scraps of paper that litter those walls. I like that it's like they're dying and they're like really quickly writing it out. <laughs> so alone. <laughs> like this. It like, hurts. It hurts so much. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> it, wait, didn't we just read something? I know. We did on the wall around the corner. So yeah, that that's going to help us. Right. Right. I guess. Maybe I should have gone. Oh, did it just start getting darker? 
It totally yeah. did! It totally started getting darker when yeah. I walked over there. Okay, wait, hang on, I wanna... Since that's clearly a bad thing. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, this music is not fitting with the theme. No, it doesn't. Oh, here's another dead body. And a red door. Yes. There's a partially... Here's another partially bleached skeleton. Sprawled across the floor. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any sort of name tag on this. I said that totally wrong. Based on the gorso... Whoa! Gorsoaked remains of the unibar and the length of the hair scattered around the head. It's safe to say this was a female student. There's a handwritten letter on the floor. So she died covered in gore and yet had time to write a letter. I'm a goner, sis. The tendons in my ankles have been cut really bad. The bleeding just won't stop. There's not a lot of blood vessels around tendons. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> You'd still bleed pretty bad, though. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't bleed to death necessarily. But if you needed to walk. <laughs> yeah, there's no walking once you sever those tendons. Uh, please, don't give up. I want you to keep living for both of us. I'm going to document everything I've learned so far. Well, she definitely took her time dying. This is a person that realizes they're going down and did their best to make sure that they did not have someone else follow their right? steps. In the hope that you can use this information to keep yourself safe. Uh, did, did you give us the information? So there was literally no information. She lied to us. Oh, there are. Oh. First, all the windows, doors, and outside walls of the school are completely immovable. You can't open them, can't break them, can't bust them down. Anything that doesn't lead outside the school, though, like the hall windows and the classrooms, can be affected to some extent or another. Second, just as pe some people are inherently good or bad natured, some of the ghosts in here are good while others are quite nasty. The more kind and gentle spirits shed a pale blue light, while the less savory types appear in blood red and glow like fire. Okay. Well, that's kind of a... we figured that out. The, you know, the blue lights have been giving us advice. We have seen zero red light, though. Well, we're about to. There's a red door. Uh, yeah. yeah. Do we want... or should we go to the others first? Um, there's a door... like, the open doors over there. I say you go in well, that Well, there's one. these two, which is the classroom, and yeah, there's yeah. anything, go, like, go above, there. and then there's this one-off door over here. So, this... this classroom? Yeah, it's open and... All right. ...probably a quick in and out. Oh, that's, that's creepy. That's good music. Uh oh. There's a sparkle! Hang on, I want the sparkle. Oh, sparkle, sparkle. Oh, You're sparkle. so pretty! I have to go in the other, the other entrance. I just want to touch you. Come, Come here, on, sparkle. sparkle. Shiny always does that to me, though. Like, we games have teached Games have teached us. Oh. Wait, how do I get to the. I think it's running from you. It's running from us. Like, that. We could. It looks like we could get to it from the other. Did I just. Or did I not see that at all? No, no I couldn't it, get it. It was on the other side, we couldn't get to it. The skeletal remains of a girl with a big hole in her skull. Wow, that's pleasant. Are still sitting on a chair. Closer inspection reveals a student ID name tag. Seisei Academy for girls. So a lot of these are from Seisei Academy. Class 1 to Asuka Kato. Okay. Yep. Yep, sorry. I wanted to... Sometimes I have to click them twice and sometimes I don't. A crumpled up note fell from the skeleton's hand. You're an idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot, Koito. If you don't believe with all your heart, then we'll never get rescued. I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. Yes. Yeah. Oh, eh, eh, eh. Okay. Just checking. Sometimes. Yeah, but how do we? How do we? How do we shiny? Uh, if, if it keeps doing this. Go, go back and see. Oh, wait. Read the note. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Nope. Can't. Oh, oh wait. Oh, there. Yeah, I just saw that. Okay, so hey, do you have any advice? If you don't keep a close eye on it, that light's going to run away from you. Pay attention to its location, find the exact spot where it once stood, and examine it thoroughly. Gotcha. I know exactly where it was. Up here? In this room? Yeah. Okay. Go all the way up. And... There we go. Oh. Sorry, I just totally skipped through your speaking. <laughs> so how about one of us waits for it over there? Yeah, so... We're gonna we're gonna split up, and one of us is gonna stay here, I guess. Or wait, do I need to go? I'm trying to drop somebody off. How do I do this? I'm not sure you. I mean, are we just gonna split up when I go out the door? Or do I have to go back over here and then run back down? Okay, it's right. No, where was it? It was up to the left. 
Where? Right here? Uh, yeah. Ah, crap. Hang on. I wasn't actually looking. Okay, we know at least where it is on the bottom. Yes. But here... Okay, so it's between the two desks. Okay. Three squares up from the uh, this one. Maybe, can you explore this the bottom spot where the uh, light was? Because it was in that... Yeah. It was right here? Yeah. No. We have to do the top one first, I okay. guess. We got this. All we right. Got this. I think I think between the two of us we can do this. It'd only take about half puzzle. an hour and. <laughs> yeah. So it's between the desks and right. Uh, right there. It was right here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Yep. Good job, Seiko. Don't you dare leave me behind. Later. <laughs> <laughs> see, see you later. <laughs> Escaping. Ah, uh, our blue friend would. Missing. I know, these blue, like, balls of fire are so helpful. Oh. Ah. I'm not controlling it. Ah, there we go. Almost got it. Ah, gotcha! Naomi, I got it! You did? Nice job! <laughs> oh. <clears throat> wait, wait, what? <laughs> Teleport. Turned out to be this. Creepy piano music. Acquire oh. the infirmary key. Oh, that was uh, below us, wasn't it? It was that door that was locked. Yeah, what, right next to the gore area. Yeah. Goes to show you what... Oh, sorry, that's you. <laughs> Goes to show you what a little teamwork can do, eh? <laughs> eh? Now she's Canadian. <laughs> we make a great team. Get into my body. <laughs> climb into me. <laughs> oh, rather, I'm going to climb into you. This is Naomi. If there's one thing that I can be, you know, can be said about keys is that they like to move. Yeah. Frequently, back and forth. Yeah, that's. What? Creepy music switches. Oh my are gosh! These... It's so Seriously, strange. Seriously, it doesn't make any sense. The switching music. All right, go. Let's go get freaked out a little bit. Here is we it... go. Yeah, it just gets really like I don't know. See, yeah. this is the ambiance that it should be having yeah. the entire time. Yeah, like just quite a quiet, creepy music in the background instead of like do 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 do. Yeah, like <laughs> do, 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 do. it's like it's like I'm at the fair. It's a little dark, but hey, it, <laughs> my head is splitting. It's unbearable. I can't take it. I can't take it. I can't take it. Oh, yeah. When we f <laughs> yeah, okay. when we found Yuzaha's body, I saw a black shadow. But I didn't tell anyone about it. And now it's killed them all. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sore. <laughs> the lower half of the text is obscured by a thick layer of dried blood. I'm pretty sure it said sorry. Yeah, pretty, pretty sure we figured that out. Her skeletal remains sprawled across the floor here, small enough to be a middle schooler. Aw. Looking closely, you can see a student ID name tag. Say Say Academy for Girls, Koito Fujiwara. Oh, we, we've we seen letters about her before. Yeah, wasn't she a dick though? Didn't she leave people behind? Yeah, I thought she did. But if she's middle eight, like middle schooler, that makes kind of sense. Yeah, she like run off because she was super scared. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to look at that again. Didn't mean to, okay, I was just, right, just let's making go sure. Okay. Let's go check out this door that's creepy. Uh, woo! Basement, the door is nailed shut. It definitely won't be opening anytime soon. Do not enter under any circumstances. Principal Takamine Yanagihori. Okay, well, uh, we're gonna have to go there much later, I'm sure. Are right, you ready to go touch a uh, red door? I guess. Since, probably die. Since... Gosh <laughs> darn it! <laughs> See, it's like so cheery. It's so jarring. It kind of kills the ambiance. Um, hopefully we won't have needed an item that we should have gotten, like, above us. I don't know. Because we still have to put that board. Custodian closet. The door is affixed to the wall like a decoration. It won't open. There's an erratic noise like that of a t of TV static coming from within. Well, if, then it's not affixed if there's something from within. Okay, well, never mind. I guess, yeah, so we can go to the... The infirmary. The infirmary. Or go upstairs. Or go upstairs and get the... We also have that board that we picked yeah. up. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. that's what I keep... Yeah, but the board would be upstairs. Well, they're both upstairs at this point. And, and this is gonna tell us the same stuff. All right. Oh, that's where the shoes were. Oh, 
We're on the other side now. Okay. All right, yeah, okay. I'm starting to get an idea of... of the layout a yeah. little bit? Wait. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's just the other side of it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> where are we? Right, because, like, a lot of these Japanese schools from, you know, what we've seen in anime have, like, a staircase on either end of them. Yeah. I mean, ours kind of did that, too, didn't it? I mean, ours was three buildings with staircases in the middle of each of the three. Yeah, so a little different, but... But there was, you know, two staircases. Yeah. And, you know, okay, so this is that door. That's the infirmary. Or we use the board. Yeah, this is. Yeah. I, say, I say we open it up. Because we're right there. Can I just. Can you use the infirmary key. The door is now unlocked. No, it's not. Oh, okay. The... Oh, we're going to die? Not creepy at all. I have a horrible feeling all of a sudden. Probably because the cheery music stopped. Oh! Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God for candle. We're fine. Just need a little little save. Thank God for candle. Ugh, chair. Uh, no? I don't know what this is. Is that like a meat grinder? It's an old-fashioned space heater, but it's so full of ash that it probably never light again. It's a, it's a box of matches is on the ground next to it. Take them? Yes. Yeah. Of course we take Unless if we take the matches, somebody else will get screwed over later. I just had a thought. I, yeah, maybe. I don't know, because we, we don't take know. Him. I'm going to take them. Hopefully I didn't, I mean, we saved right before that, so. I'm going to go ahead and guess the ashes are, like, former bodies of. Maybe. The handle turns, but not a drop of water comes out. Oh, good, we're going to dehydrate. <laughs> I didn't realize just how thirsty I am. <laughs> you just read for I me. did, I just read your, ah, dang it. It's because you're thirsty. It's because I'm thirsty. Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves, along with a single bottle of rubbing alcohol. I could take one or two bottles with me but I'd probably just end up breaking them and cutting myself. Wow. <laughs> How incompetent are you? <laughs> I thought she was going to say, but then I'd probably just end up abusing it. Right. right. Besides, I don't trust anything in here. I should go back to the, uh, I should go back to the, uh, Valley Girl. Yeah. Yeah. She's, uh, lost her privilege to not be one. Yeah. There's a lamp on the desk, but it doesn't seem to work. Flipping the switch does nothing. There's an old journal on the desk. At least it appears to be a journal. In reality, it's more like a model fused to the desk surface. What? So it's... Oh, it's like Disneyland. And you go into like Mickey and Minnie's houses and everything's just fake and plastic. Wait, did you read the thing on the wall that... No, the I haven't. I'm, I'm getting th that way. To the diagram right next to the... Uh... I, yeah, no, that that w I did. I can't remember what it said because I've forgotten already. <laughs> it can't be lifted and the pages can't be turned. Um... Yeah, it was... Oh, that's oh, right. Oh, it's there. just an atomical... Yeah. Diagram of the human body. No, I did not read this. Uh, was... Looking closely, it seems as if somebody painted over each of the organs with actual blood. Yeah, no, I would have remembered that. Yeah. That's I, a, I skipped that's that nice entirely. Touch. Okay. I, well, there's something right next to the journal. I wanted to see what that was. Maybe if I look this way. Nope, there's just a lot of journals. Wash your hands with soap! <laughs> you know. Good, good advice. There's a pair of scissors on one of the shelves. Both its blades covered liberally in blood. Can we take it? Nope. Can we take it to use as a weapon? Because weapons would be nice. Because, you know, vast quantities of medicines and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. We should take all of them and, you know, herb ourselves. This is this is the difference between Japanese-style uh, games and American-style games. We would have made a Molotov cocktail in an right? American game <laughs> and taken the scissors and stabbed and, like, it in someone's ready. eyes. Thing. I'm think I'm thinking, just a weird version of The Last of Us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, we would have been like, all right, what can I carry to hit something with? Like immediately, right off the bat. Especially when you found <sighs> when we found this person who was hurled across the wall at a very quick pace. Uh... Still locked. Still locked. Ugh. All right, so now we go up the board. Here we go. Heck yeah, place that loose board. Why would you never use a board to go anywhere? Well, it's too risky. Uh, what are they basing that off of? I don't know. You're, in a, you're in a hellish place that you're trying to escape from. Oh, that's new. But she's blue, right? That's good. Blue's good. All right, let's see who this person is. Pile of haphazardly strewn human bones. Were, were the other ones artfully placed? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Piles are always laid ah. to be perfect unless they're haphazardly okay. strained. Okay, okay. I'm glad we cleared that up. 
Um, they seeped upon the floor. Upon closer examination, a student ID name tag can be seen jutting out from one side. Say Say Academy for Girls. Sasha. Sasha Shinomi. What's That's up, Sasha? How you doing? Sasha Shinobi. Having a rough time? You got a bone to pick with me? Uh, okay. And then there's a crumpled piece of paper on the ground that seems to have fallen from the corpse's, corpse's lifeless hand. God yeah. will surely yeah. save me. Really? Uh. I don't think he did. I... I don't think he did. Alright. So, those blue... Uh, hey, it's ghosts? another piss bucket! Sweet. You know those blue blue ghosts that we see? I think those are the other characters, and we're seeing, like... Oh! Oh, that might be it. Yeah. Okay, that'd not, be kind of cool. Not the flames, obviously. No, but the, but the actual, actual figures yeah. might be our other companions on different planes. Yeah. Laboratories. Boys' room to the left. Girls' room at the end of the hall. So, can we go in the boys' room? Just uh, inappropriate. For one half of us. <laughs> Uh, uh, we're both girls. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, all these years. Even turning the handle all the way, not a drop of water emerges from the faucet. I was wondering if, like, by going into the boys' room, if, like, something horrible would chase us out because we're not boys. <laughs> we can only hope because so far I'm not scared. The drain is completely... Well, that's also because we're filming... We're, we're recording this on a bright, sunny day, and, uh... And, uh... I mean, I don't know. We have kind of a high tolerance for scary stuff anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, well, it doesn't uh. help that the music in this is so gosh darn chipper. It's just like, wee, all the time. I was going to say my high tolerance comes from looking in the mirror every day, but sure, yeah. <coughs> both, both. Yeah. The drain is completely stopped up with long strands of black hair, and the basin is filled with dirty water. Okay. Dirty water is water. Drink it anyway. Even turning the handle all the way, not a drop of water emerges. Drink the toilet water. Smell of ammonia is almost staggering. Why can't you guys actually pee in the urinals? I mean, come on. <laughs> I believe the urinals were peed into and then left to stagnate. Oh, it opens with a really creepy door sound. Okay, that was a little unexpected. Ready for the last one? No. <laughs> Yep, yep, called it. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the goddamn door! <laughs> Sorry, sir. What? What the hell was that? <laughs> Good whimper. That was either an actual voice or an auditory hallucination. Uh, interesting thought. You're finally deciding that you're going crazy and that this is all fake. Hmm. Good, good theory. There was a there was a gas leak in the school and they're all high off of like yeah. whatever gas they use in the school. And I really don't know which is more likely. So like I I can't get a beat on that character because like half the time she ends up being really kind of intelligent and then the other half she's like derp. I'm gonna I'm gonna do, do it again. again. Yeah. See and now like we done. All right. Uh, cool. Bye. I, so that was just added in for a little shock value. Yeah. All yeah. Right. If you're, like, super terrible at... There's a clump of unidentifiable meat inside the rusted bucket completely crawling with maggots. Well, that's a little different. It's not a piss bucket this time. I have exact... I know exactly what it is, but I'm not going to say it because... <laughs> <laughs> this is right in front of the girls' bathroom. Oh, <laughs> you're terrible! <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh. All right, let's see what's in here. Faucet makes an unpleasant sound of clanging pipes when the handle is turned, but no water comes out. The drain is completely stopped up with long strands of black hair, just like the middle one on the other side, and the basin is filled with dirty water, just like the one on the other side. Even when turning the handle, not a drop of water. So exact there's, same, all right. There's two extra doors here. Shut the goddamn door. It won't open. Hmm. Okay, maybe later. I don't think I have any tools. One second. Yeah. Oh! There's a tool list. Which we have an infirmary key, a box of matches. Alright. Are we and able to use them specifically, or is it just only when it's appropriate? That's the question. I can try and burn the door open. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. But I'll, when you I can't have get out of a place, burn it down. Right, right. Um, 
Yeah, so these are all the characters that were... There's a lot of high schools. That are, yeah, we're going to have to find a lot of, lot of dead Holy. bodies. Say say. Yeah, that's that's the one that we've been finding. Say say. Ribcage smashed in with blood instrument. Oh my gosh, I love that these are like... Are we going to have to... Categories as to how they died. Are we going to have to figure this out? Like, is that going to be a key part of this game? Or is that just for, for ambiance? I don't know. Purposes? Skull cracked open with blunt instrument. I thought she was shot in the head. Like, one of these looked like they were shot in the head, but apparently it was just... Okay, so, yeah. Two blunt instruments. Case. So there's a blunt instrument that is murdering everybody. So they are, they're being murdered. Gosh, that music is so chipper. That music continued playing in the background, it sounds like. Yeah. Because that was not where we like left it off. No. All right. Um. So I don't know what we can do with this. Okay, that's different. H hey, Naomi. Hmm. <laughs> okay. 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 Let me get this straight. <laughs> At what point did we ever come across ass medicine? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, this game this game was like whoa. this game was like riding at like a mid five, maybe six for you know certain things. It just kicked up to about a solid eight right now. Because if you didn't just randomly throw out <laughs> ass medicine like that, you're just not you're not trying. You're not trying at this, all. This this game went suddenly somewhere I did not expect it to go. Um Are you gonna have to rub smeary stuff onto someone's oh ass? Oh my god. <laughs> Do you have any of that ass medicine on you by any chance? <laughs> Wasn't this like, if this was a DS game for like teenagers, like. I, I don't know what they were thinking. I, oh, it's so weird. Cause like the style is super cutesy and then they're, uh, you know, the smeary stuff. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Again? <laughs> Again? Again? This happened before? <laughs> Yep, my butt's drier in a desert since we got here. <laughs> what? Okay. I know. There's a okay. There needs to be a like a, a point here. They've they've addressed each other's I mean, buttholes and she, the dryness of it before. This is a, a conversation that has happened previously. Yeah. Potentially I, multiple times. So and she's they, annoyed she, with it. And yeah. she and she's she's like comfortably annoyed with it. Not just like. Oh yeah. Yeah, of course. What? What's going on? Holy shit. No, th this is, yeah, this is awesome. Oh, wow, this game. <clears throat> well, I've got some antibacterial cream, if that'll work. Well, what's it in the tool menu, Naomi? <laughs> what? Share, where did share your shit. Antibacterial cream, where is that? Where am I storing that? I know, cause like, they don't have Japanese any of their- Japanese uniforms have no pockets. No, and they're, they're, they don't have a, their bag or anything. So I don't know where they're keeping everything. Thanks! I'm gonna go butter up my pooper with it real good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. They're going. I can't. They're even. going back to the. She's gonna go back to the bathroom and then disappear. She. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. She's asking for it. Oh my god. Well, this is why you don't ever split up, gang. You know? Oh, Scooby yeah. Doo should have taught us that. How Come about on. I go butter up your pooper so we don't lose <laughs> each other? <laughs> right. Oh, bye, Seiko. It was nice knowing you. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this is such a weird, like, what I don't just understand. Happened? I don't understand. This, the flow this, of this game is up and down. Oh my god. Mm. It's like, it started to get a little bit creepy, and it's like, okay, we've got some creepy music, and like, all right, and then like, oh, spooky ghost following us. And then we're gonna go fire my us. asshole. <laughs> <sighs> Do you have any shame at all? Do you? <laughs> You're mocking oh. us? I'm gonna go check on her. Yeah. Because I don't trust anything about this. Hey, uh, hey Seiko, where'd you go? Hey, I can't open any of these doors. This was the one that was locked earlier. That was the locked one. Psycho? Her name's Psycho now? <laughs> I've been calling her Psycho the oh, entire okay. time. Psycho? Hmm? Uh, nothing. Just checking to make sure you're still buttering up your asshole. Right. Okay, so why would we leave her? Oh, but all of a sudden I can't open them. 
Same, same thing. Same huh? response. I felt like the hums got longer, though. Yeah. Okay, so what am I supposed to do with that? Although, you know what we just realized? I just realized hmm. she didn't say anything. She just went, hmm. She did just go, hmm. Hmm? I don't think we should leave the floor. I don't, I don't want to leave. I think we should go to keep talking to her and see if she just keeps getting, Right? Hmm? Keep, see if it keeps changing. Hey, are you, how are you done now? Hang right, on. So One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, six M's. Alright, and it's probably the, it's probably the same length. Yeah, okay. Right. I, did, I I don't I don't like anything about this. I don't why would you leave her in a fucking haunted house? I don't know. Why would there be a bucket of piss and then a bucket of rotting meat? <laughs> Plot. Big bro thur Sob sob. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Was that Yuka? Oh, yeah, that, that's you. Yuka's you. It was me. So, I'm assuming. Oh, me? Chan? Me Chan? <laughs> oh, Chan? Seiko? Oh, that's you again. Dang it. Seiko? Seiko? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the wait. Gotta go butter up your asshole. Thanks for the cream, Naomi. Put her there! Oh, uh, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> hey, wait, was that stall open? Hmm? I thought that stall was locked when we were in here before. It was, it totally was. Was it? I didn't have any trouble getting in. Dun, dun, dun. Fine, I guess. I'll let you off the hook. What? Off the hook for what? Like We have bigger, bigger things to worry about after all. I don't... Also, like, yeah, I was gonna say, like- I actually just heard Yuka's voice out in the hallway. I think it was coming from downstairs. Really? Let's go check it out. Okay. <laughs> Team back together. I say, go try to open that door. Bet she was I'm locked. Totally gonna... What? Okay, there's something really weird going on. All right. Ah, well. uh, it's just jammed. <laughs> has, has, it has one of those locks that sometimes just locks on itself. Oh. That was not the door I wanted to go in. You know, I just, I just keep you really on like that boys I really like that boys' bathroom. I just, yeah. you know, want to poke my head in all the time. Downstairs. Oh, her, <laughs> her ankle, right? Yeah. That she's been walking around on just fine. Naomi, are you okay? That was a close one. Oh, I guess because she almost fell down a flight of stairs. Yeah. Ugh, my leg. Thanks for lending me a hand. No problem. I'm just glad you didn't fall. Seems like you sprained your ankle pretty badly, though. We could find you someplace to sit down and rest. Yeah, you're probably right, the infirmary. The infirmary. Here, lean on my shoulder for this time being. Thanks, I owe you one, psycho. <laughs> <laughs> Think nothing of it. This is not a dialogue most people would have. Oh, it's, now you're carrying, oh, I guess. I you're carrying me. I guess I am. Ah, oh God, those flies, every time, it just, ugh. Oh God! Didn't we already see this? I, I, I stepped in it. Ew! You did? Here, I've got some tissues. Maybe you can wipe it off. She just wiped her buttery asshole. You know what? I just had a thought. We're missing two characters. Oh God. Do you think that's one of the like? characters maybe, that maybe, we're missing maybe so we were missing what who was it, it was the dude the the dark haired dude the dude and the girl that was gonna and move. yeah the girl that was gonna move like why else would they like oh these aren't characters that you're gonna interact with because they're like already dead and it's fresh too right it's meaty and there's flies like it's not i'm gonna i'm gonna call that that's one of our friends I, it's a good guess <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not disputing that i'm uh that's that's what i'm going with Ugh. That's a great sound effect. These, these are definitely somebody's guts. What are you basing that off of? The fact that it's obviously someone's guts? And when I stepped on whatever part of their body I stepped on, it made a squishy sound. Like I just plopped my shoe into a juicy pile of dog poo. What kind good, of- Good description. Ah. Oh. Good description. Oh God, that's way too much information. You're gonna make me puke. Sorry. 
Seiko's weird. Yeah. She's kind of living up to her little but, namesake you know, a bit. She's also a little bit of the, um... Gosh, what's the word? darn that noise. She's she's a little, like, now questionable because she disappeared to go butter up right? her asshole. Yeah. No, we don't trust her anymore because it's kind of like, okay, what have you done? Is this really you anymore? Is it really her anymore? I don't know. I don't I'm going to save since we're in the infirmary. Let's see if she... Ah, she looks the same. Uh, maybe you should have saved out for a different one, but that's okay. That's fine. Um, so I guess we're going to put you in a bed. Did it work? Yep. Huh. Somehow I expected the beds to be a lot dustier. They are surprisingly clean. That's good, though. Now you can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I think I'm going to lie down for a bit. All tucked away in the corner like that? <laughs> I've always preferred nooks and corners. They just make me feel safe, I guess. Uh -huh. I know just what you mean. I'm the exact same way. I wonder if there's anything in here we could use to see that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm going to take a look. Okay. Thanks a bunch. Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. Oh, she's going to grab the scissors. Uh, I can't. I'm not, I'm not moving her. Yeah, I'm not moving her at all. Why wouldn't she check the medicine cabinets? I know. I mean, that's where all the stuff was, right? I got me a makeshift splint and some bandages. I got me. I got me. <laughs> that sprain's a goner. <laughs> what? That's not, it's not like it's magically gone. Your sprain's still there until it heals. Now, hold still. Oh, man. You're you know, a this lifesaver. Angle is very strange. Just saying from behind the curtain. <laughs> it's, just, it's a weird scene. It's a very weird scene. All right, you're wrapped up tight. How's it feel? Hmm. <laughs> Feels great. Psycho. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, God, I'm just making her sound crazy now. <laughs> you're very welcome. I sprained my ankle pretty badly before, too, so I know just how you feel. Oh, I wish she's got such a cute face there. I wish I had some ice or something to put on it, though. Yeah, there's no water. You guys are going to die of food and water shortage. <laughs> No worries. You've done more than enough already. Er, you're asleep now? That's fair enough, I guess. Okay, this is where you sleep in shifts. Just saying. Oh, yeah. Like, you do not, like, just sleep. Just like in any good D&D &D campaign, you sleep in shifts. <laughs> right? Glad you agree. Hehe. <laughs> it's slumberland for me. What Jesus. a weird... What? You really <laughs> are an oddball, you know that? Yeah. I'm glad Naomi agrees. God, that squeaky noise, what is it? So, hey, Naomi? Hmm? If we find Moshida, have you thought about what you want to do with him? Hmm? What? Yeah, I, I got the, I got the hmm myself here. Hmm? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> eh? Well, you know what they say. When two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we shit? Shall we say? Shall we shit? Shall we shall shy? <laughs> it often leads to love. Sweet love. God, what is with this character? She just like went kind of wonky. True love. <laughs> Marriage. <laughs> you should well up all your courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in that... In this creepy place, and your cuteness factor will grow three sizes in his eyes, I bet, just like the Grinch's heart. Yeah, that was exactly what I said. <laughs> and her cuteness factor grew three sizes <laughs> that day. Uh, this is why we're friends. <laughs> <laughs> Snork? Wait, let's see if I can get that sound. <laughs> <laughs> Did that work? <laughs> yeah. I swear, with you around, I almost feel like we're just... Shooting the breeze back at school like nothing ever happened. Like we're not trapped in a horrible version She's of hell. She's not addressing the fact that she basically got called out in feeling love for this guy. I know, right? 
I guess it's been a conversation they've been having before, and she just hasn't been able to confess to him. Which one was Moshita again? Was Moshita the dark haired one that's yeah, missing? Yeah, it was the. Oh, no, 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 no. No, he was. That was the. It was a nickname for maybe a last name of the uh, the guy that opened the door. Oh, I can't. Okay. Oh, her, like, because the, they're both really good friends with each other. Yeah, yeah okay. they've known each other since. But she's really mean to him. She kind of was, but, you know, yeah, it's, that's high school, though, right? People. Oh, I like you, so I'm going to push you down and then punch your face and then hit you forever. <laughs> I had a guy that did that in uh, junior high. He would tie my shoelaces, like, to the chair. Like, he sat in front of me, and he'd tie my shoelaces to the to the chair in front of me. Like, when I, if I wasn't. Of- as a, as a sign of I'm actually trying to flirt with you, but like, and it, it uh, yeah. took me forever. I was so slow, like figuring out like that he did that. Like I just eventually was like, oh yeah, he's going to do this every day. So I just stopped wearing shoes with laces in them. See, I go with a more direct approach. If I say, a girl, you know, I want to tell a girl I like her, I just stab her a couple times. Like, oh yeah, just like, you know, make yourself really why, known. Yo, like, why do it so subtly? I mean, really. <laughs> what kind of communication skills is this? I mean, teenagers... I guess are kind of stupid, but... Well, it's more that, you know, everyone's so caught up in their emotional cocktail of hormones and nobody knows what to do with anything, so... I mean, that's true. (laughs) Thanks for your... advice? (laughs) I'll think about it. I'm not sure that's advice. (laughs) I hope we find him soon. You know what? I bet Uh she has a crush on him, too. Uh, uh Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. You kind of... Don't, though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish we didn't have to be put through all this. You want to see him, but you wish he could rest easy knowing that... Sorry, you wish you could rest easy knowing that he's safe and sound back home rather than wandering around here. Am I right? Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in, huh? You're a deep one, to be sure. Okay. This is such a weird conversation. She's psychoanalyzing me. I have said very little. <laughs> you haven't even admitted other than, like... Yeah. And now you're looking away. She may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all counts. Woo! She guess there's no fool in Psycho. Okay, so at least the game is somewhat self-aware as to how ridiculously weird it is, so... I've been pretty curt with her since we got here. I'll have to make sure I apologize later. You should probably apologize now. I just have a feeling. Mmm. Gasp. Gulp? What? 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 Weird sound effects. And what was that exactly? Heh, <laughs> sorry, it's just that when I, I see that ass of yours, I start... What? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, just when I see that ass of yours, I start to drool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. <laughs> I don't... This game, man. <laughs> you are <laughs> so weird. And apparently also a lesbian. Oh, my dad's cool. I, you know, it's like that's what's been going on is with the whole like butt pooper, like buttering up thing is like, oh, I'm just trying to get you to like, I don't know, I'm, I'm weirdly butthole. trying to hit on Please you. Please touch my butthole. <laughs> Big brother, sob sob. That was Yuka again. I heard it too. I'll go take a look and leave you here. <laughs> yep. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy. I'll be back in a jiffy. Always separate when you're in a horrible situation Always, like this. and when yeah. you're hearing voices that you don't know where they're coming from. I don't think that's such a good idea. Okay, yeah. I should yeah. go too. Maybe I should give Seiko the, the valley girl. Because <laughs> she's being a real dummy. I insist. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Just keep dad ass parked on that bed, you got it? <laughs> <laughs> this is good dialogue. Man, oh, well wow. thought out. Well, but... Yeah, well... Look, but. your ankle's all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing. All right, I guess. I'll stay here. Peace! You'll never see me again. You'll never see me again! <laughs> hmm. My ankle really does feel a lot better. Crazy Psycho has a definite <laughs> knack for caretaking. <sighs> Miss Yui and the others. <laughs> Satoshi? Ooh. I wonder what they're all doing right now. They're all thinking about the dead ass. Oh, are we having a Grumble Grumble? Grumble Grumble? Are we having a flashback? Is that what's going on? I gotta say that was a pretty impressive reaction. 
Didn't we just play through this? <laughs> hmm. Who ever heard of a class representative with yeah. such a sadistic Wait, streak? This is the, like, a this review. This is the beginning. Yeah. Who ever heard of a boy who can't hit a note like that when he screams? I have. <laughs> Save me! Hey, hey. <laughs> Such a jerk. Don't be an ass, Yoshi. Okay. Okay. Let's not have any fighting. I have to admit, though, his reaction was awfully cute. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> what? So weird. I just want to see him. <laughs> oh. oh, Naomi. I just want to see him. Why did this have to happen? Oh, I can't save. Oh, I can't save. See if you can light it. Oh, oh, I can't save. Wait, can I maybe? How do you use items, actually? <laughs> we don't Out know. Out of curiosity. Nope. Okay, well, maybe... Because, like, right. I mean, the key was just an automatic thing to the infirmary. It just yeah, it. it probably is automatic. I'm, I, I imagine they don't want you to save. Why is the door locked? You have the key, though. On closer inspection, there's no visible bolt keeping the door closed, nor any evidence that it's been locked at all. What? But if it's not locked, then why won't it open? It won't budge. It's as if it's been completely fastened to the wall through invisible bonds. Oh, invisible bondage. Cool. <laughs> okay, well, shit. Maybe... Okay. Oh, that no. is the creepiest thing in the world is a little child, girl or boy, laughing in a scene like this. Now, this is not that creepy, so I'm not as freaked out. But seriously, that is that is it. It's still disturbing. There's there's just a level of like small child. Like for some reason, kids are always the creepiest in these games. Like kids in movies too. Like I hate children in movies. They're Doom, always evil. Doom three had a scene where you had a dark hallway, and at the end, you hear a child laugh. Nope. I saw that. Did you know about it there? Done. I walked away. <laughs> I was like, uh uh. Okay. Done. I have a terrible feeling that we're gonna have to run around in circles. I just have a yeah. terrible feeling. Are those children? Let's all go on a field trip together over summer vacation in the creepiest voice. Like wow, this is, this is not a this is not like a little boy talking about it. This is it's a intentionally boy, being creepy. Yeah, like half alive. I don't wanna. I don't wanna go on vacation. Who? What? This is no longer a safe room, stalker. This is no longer a safe room. I thought it was a safe room forever. And oh, I was a fool. I don't wanna. I want out the door. Let's get out the door. Out the door. Nope. It nope. won't budge. Shoot. We have to, like, trigger something and probably run around in circles. Wait, wait, wait. Open. See, check the uh, cabinets. My. Oh, that's you. My head hurts so bad. I can't stop this ringing in my ears. Oh, she's gonna kill herself. Oh. Can we light it? No. And there it is. Uh, creepy, creepy little girl laughing. Rubbing alcohol. See, this is the... Am I just triggering the laughter by going certain places? Or is it... <gasps> the cabinet with the, the bloody... Um, scissors. scissors. Oh, wait, wait. Ch check the note, though. Check the note. Okay. So I can't even same. read the page that it's on, though. And that's weird. No? All right, check that last cabinet, for, because of, you know, medicines and stuff. All I right, read, read the note on the wall again, maybe. Wash the blood with soap. Uh, the blood on the anatomical drawings, maybe? Maybe. Where was soap? No. Rubbing alcohol. Can you take it, please? No. Soap? It didn't say that earlier, did it? What? It didn't say wash the blood with. No. Yeah. Wash it, the, it said your wash your hands. Soon. Yeah. Okay. What? What? Did you try pushing all the buttons? I am pushing all the buttons. I swears. I swears. I'm pushing all the buttons. How about in the drawer? Lamp. Desk. Lamp. 
Yep, 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 yep. The, the kid laughed, like, here? Here, yeah. And there's nothing behind the curtain? Nothing behind the curtain? Nothing, but I don't, I don't know what I'm doing! Stalker, I'm so bad at this game! I don't think you can be good at this game. <laughs> there it is. Oh, wait, I, I, the door is latticed with countless strands of black hair rooting it in place. That's new. Well, no longer invisible then. Go grab those scissors. I don't wanna. Someone's is, writing. Is someone there? Someone's writing. That looks kind of reddish. It sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. Yeah, it does. On loop for like two seconds. <laughs> The light is flickering. I can't go there. It keeps pushing me away. Right, gra grab the uh, scissors. Go grab I can't. the scissors. Such a oh, it's so creepy. Have you come to find me? Oh, what? What? No. Don't what? Oh, no. What the? I'm not moving. <laughs> I need to get away. Uh, uh, go down. Let it come toward you. There you go. Oh, oh. What? Oh god. What? Run run away, run away. Ah! Okay. I got it. You got it. <sighs> We're gonna die. We're gonna die is what's gonna happen, because I can't. Okay, so let him come down. I'll follow you all the way down. Ah! And then go up. Yep, grab. Shelves are empty! Scratch, scratch, scribble, scribble. Haphazardly scrawled shorthand begins appearing in the journal on the desk as if being written by unseen hands. The letters are so misshapen and inconsistent, however, that they're completely illegible. A previously inoperable desk lamp now shines with an unnatural, almost ethereal glow. Grab I can't, I can't get away from him! Oh, check that, check the shelves. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm dead. Fast quantities of medicine. I, she still won't take them, and I'm dead. Oh, God! <laughs> The black mist begins to wrap itself around Naomi's body. There's no question that this is a malevolent, malevolent, malevolent force. Malevolent force. <laughs> I know how to. I know. I, just, I know how to my speak. My tongue. I swear. If this continues, death is inevitable. All right. Well, I can't get away. Okay. So I have Wait, to. But the, the shelves are all empty, right? Can I trap him up here? You can't go. You, you can't run into those things, right? Like those things on the floor, they block your path? Yeah, they block. It's, it's He's dropped, like, holes in the floor. Okay, check the uh, fireplace. Nope. Okay, so... We, you, you, we need to check the shelves and see I, if there's... I know, I need to get him stuck. Like that. Rattle, rattle. Looking closely, the whole shelf seems to be shaking violently. Can I... Why can't I get in? Can I... Okay, uh, he's coming. I know. Check the other shelves, the, the white shelves. Oh, I already I'm, did. I'm oh, I did that when I was over there. What? How do I? Okay, what? 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 Do you have any idea? Do you yeah, have any you, ideas? You move over to the right. Oh, you're to... No, yeah. to as far as to, like, get there. away... I don't think you can get completely away from him. Check that. Still dripping blood... Still the alcohol, still can't. Ah! Dead. Almost dead? Nope. Whoa! What? How to remove a tongue. First, you must ensure the patient's arms and legs are tied down tightly, preventing escape. Oh, that's unpleasant. Next, insert a fixed metal object into the patient's mouth to impede jaw movement and keep the mouth locked in an open position. This is serial killer manual 101. The patient may attempt to pull back or curl its tongue to impede your progress. No need to worry, the effect of this will pr prove negligible. Open your scissors all the way, then close them hard around the base of the tongue, as far back as you can manage. This is unpleasant. The patient will thrash and scream, so it is recommended you apply as much pressure as possible and attempt to complete your task in one fell swoop. <laughs> ah! 
Okay, I don't know. We keep getting hit, but we're not dying. No, um, maybe there's like, you know, you're only supposed to get hit a couple times, uh, but each, like, it keeps moving as to what we can interact with, so I have to keep looping around. Um, maybe I can get in one of these now. No. Shells are still empty. Alright, can I do something with the door yet? Nope. Oh! Uh, it's no use! Where did this hair cut him from? God help me! Yes. <gasps> yes! Please try! The flame wasn't strong enough to do any significant damage. Oh no! What am I gonna do? Okay, well now, can I can I get in the shell? Alcohol. Alcohol. Oh! To, to do the mash thing? Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. I gotta... Oh, he's... Sorry, he's not, um... He can run over those floorboards that he burns out, so I have to, like, trap him. Ah, dang it. Sorry, I'm trying to get him to stuck on this side. For a second. Nope! Nope! I, I feel like I can't... Ah! Yes! Take it! Why didn't you take it earlier, crazy lady? Get away from me! <laughs> oh, that worked. Okay, we're fine. Okay. Douse yes. the hairs with rubbing alcohol, please. After hastily splashing alcohol on the edges of the door, Naomi lit a match and attempt to burn through the seemingly endless strands of hair. Poof. That was a poof. With but a sizable whoosh and a waft of foul-smelling heat, the hair lit up, then hardened and fell away. Hardened? Did yeah, it just burn away? Kind of just curls and melts, but yeah. yeah. Freeing the door and allowing it to open. Ah! We escaped. Escape. Okay, so now we've learned. We have learned. I'm going to kill you. Yeah, that's what Kuroshteyaru means, but I like that they translated it. It was it was nice of them. <laughs> And apparently now, every time we see those words, like, spread out, I'm going to imagine that kid's voice in my head now. It's going to be great. I can't do that it. That was pathetic. <laughs> oh, there's that springboard sound again to beat. In an utter panic, I began to ran as... Ran? <laughs> I began to run as fast as my feet would carry me. Honestly, that grammar was in part of, like... Like, that was par for the course for this. All right. I was so out of sorts, I didn't even know where I was running. Oh, good. I kept calling out Psycho's name over and over. Crazy bitch! Where are you? <laughs> when I regained my sentences, I found Your senses? My, my senses. <laughs> I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. Okay. Wasn't that where the bathrooms were? Yeah, it was. Psycho! Psycho, where are you? Come on, psycho! Don't leave me by myself in here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounded good. Maybe she needed to go rub her butthole. Psycho! <laughs> Again? Didn't she give you back the medicine? Uh -huh. Is that you? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> She's probably in that stupid stall. It's it's that stupid stall. You weren't moving, right? Nope. Well, no, I did that. I did the speed okay. forward, but then it stopped me. Um. Yep. Oh, cool. That looks normal. Um. She's dead. She done died. She done hung herself. Somebody hung her. She done died. She did. She did. Girl dead. Girl dead girl. The stall girl is... It was just open! We saw it banging! What the... Stall door locked from the inside, my butt. Someone's definitely in there. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, can you not sell? <gasps> <gasps> Psycho! No! Why? Why? No! No! Gurgle. Gurgle. I think this is me. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, me. Is she not dead? Are you just letting her hang? Psycho, you're alive. Hold on. I'll get you down. Uh, how? Strangle? Strangle? <laughs> 
Ah, sorry. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Whimper. Did she make it worse? The noose around Psycho's neck is attached directly to the ceiling and there's nothing at her feet. Wait, there should be a toilet stall underneath her. All oh, types of are just strangling her further. further. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know. Okay, they weren't opening the first time. Anything? Anything? Can I can I grab a box? Bucket of blood. Bucket of blood. Buck the bucket of bala. There's a bucket. There's a bucket. Grab the bucket. Grab the bucket. Yes! Ew. Clang, splurch, scutter. Okay. Scutter? I think it's because the insects. Oh, that's right. Ugh. This is so revolting. But if I if it saves Psycho, a significant number of maggots have found their way in, onto Naomi's hands and. How? Did she stick her hands in the bucket? <laughs> like, acquired filthy bucket. Yay! This is why we should have grabbed the piss bucket earlier. Psycho, I'm right here. The filthy bucket fell from Naomi's hands. With blank eyes, Psycho swung back and oh. forth slowly in her noose. All life had been completely drained from her face. Can we actually save her? I'm really curious if, like, we just grabbed the bucket to start with. We wouldn't have known, though. <laughs> no! <laughs> no. <laughs> no! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Why? Why would you hang yourself? She well, didn't hang there's herself. nothing beneath her except for the. Well, I see. This is why I'm confused. Like toilet stalls. Like, did if she stood on the toilet stall to hang herself, you can't kick away like the toilet. Yeah, and so is there just no toilet? But there, there totally is. You can see one in there. Yeah. So like, I mean, and if she's hung too high, then she didn't do it. You were smiling and laughing all this time. She was going crazy. Let's not kid ourselves. Was. Didn't you say we'd find a way out of here? Together? Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. You're not a fool by yourself. You have a dead body. <laughs> say something! Gosh darn child. <laughs> wow. ah! <gasps> uh. That's such a weird sound effect. Ulg. Ha There's no more hat anymore. <laughs> Child spirits. I can't move. Uh, uh. <laughs> I can't even speak. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm really, 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 really scared. I gotta put enough extra really in there. I wonder who's talking here. Star. Asterisk. <laughs> it's the butthole. The butter butthole. <laughs> Chortle choke. <laughs> Chortle choke. Somehow or another, Naomi found herself with a large pair of sewing scissors in her hand. Well, Cut okay. Her down. Well, she might still it be was alive. empty. When when we were trying to get the scissors, the scissors like the drawer was empty, so maybe she'd actually grabbed them earlier and didn't even like notice that she grabbed them because she's they're all going insane. Yeah, maybe. Her mouth was agape, and she was lowering the open scissors into it as if intending to swallow them whole. Is she gonna, like, cut her own tongue out? Why? I these were blue, though. They were helpful, right? Well, they were earlier. <laughs> I can feel the scissor blades clanging against my molars. I can hear it, too. Oh, my gosh. This is brutal. This got really bad. No. <laughs> what, what am I doing? Why would I try to swallow a pair of scissors? My hands moving on its own? No, stop! Ah! Ah! What if it's because we ran into that ghost? Maybe? <laughs> oh 
Oh, the heartbeat sound. I wonder if we messed up the first I, part. I'm really curious. Did we? We? Oh no, we did. <laughs> <laughs> and we have learned. Oh no! All right. Well, wrong end one of two. So I guess there's two different ways we can screw up. I guess. Huh. Well, bollocks. <laughs> That's very final. <laughs> you know what we need to get? Piss bucket. It wouldn't let me pick it up. Yeah, but now it would. Maybe. All right. Well, I think we're gonna have to stop. Yeah. Uh, until next time. Jeez. So, Although, uh, what a great dialogue of game. <laughs> do you have that ass cream? Of course I do. <laughs> what, again? Oh, that ass man. makes me drool. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this, this is a very strange game. Um, so yeah, it'll, it'll probably be a little bit before we can get back to it because uh, Stalker's just up for a short little visit. Um, so we'll, we'll have to see when our schedules go align again. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll be recording the next one by the time this goes up. So we'll see. <laughs> um, but thank you for, for coming down and like getting this game <laughs> yeah, started. Any, and... Anything for Corpse Party! <laughs> Butt cream and buttery assholes. And... Good Lord. All right. This has definitely been a, an adventure. Um, I'm kind of excited to continue though and see if we can figure <laughs> out like what we did wrong and not screw up again. Yeah. Because I don't know, like, that, there wasn't a whole lot different that we could do. I know, because it doesn't let you interact with things like you want to. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe if we grab the the bucket before we go in the bathroom, maybe that'll, like, she won't be dead by then. Yeah, maybe. So, well, I, I mean, mean, that's something we, we could do. We to pick it up, so they may not have let us. I yeah, mean, I don't maybe, know. I, I think, I didn't even, I think I didn't touching even look the at ghost it, also played a part of it. No, oh, touching the ghost? Yeah. Okay, We yeah. have to avoid that better. Well, we'll have to see if we can. Um... All right, so thanks for watching, and uh, hope you enjoyed that, and tune in next time. Bye.